summer evening in Melbourne, Australia. Wild Labor Arena, one of the true jewels in the tennis world, all lit up and all filled up because the world number one defending champion Roger Federer is on court against Takao Suzuki of Japan on night three of the first Grand Slam of 2005. Welcome inside Rod Laver Arena, Chris Fowler and Patrick McEnroe. Let's face it, these matches involving Roger Federer, especially in the early rounds of any tournament, really are less competitions than they are <laughs> confirmations of his awesome talent, demonstrations of his perhaps historic skill. I mean, the greats all stop and watch when Roger Federer is on court. That's why this place is filled up, even though Suzuki is the longest of long shots He here. sure is, and you're right. And I don't think it's too early to start talking about Roger Federer's place in tennis history because this guy has taken the game of men's tennis really to a whole nother level. Of course, he won Wimbledon in 2003. Last year, he comes to Australia here, taking on Safin in the final, you know, without a coach. So there are a few questions about that coming in, but Federer was pretty emphatic with the answers. He just dismantled Murat Safin in the final. Let's show a little bit of net play here. I mean, the guy does it all. Beautiful dropper right there, and he blows through. Uh, Mr. Sapp. And then coming here this year, Chris, he's already won a tournament in the Middle East and leading into this Australian, taking on Centauro, and he's just looking to be in just wonderful form. Yeah, blasted Roddick as well in an exhibition event here before this guy started at Centauro, the tricky Frenchman, but you know, better never gave him a chance after the match. He said, you know, asked, how's your game? He said, well, I served well. Uh, turned well, volleyed pretty well, and it was very good from the backcourt. So that pretty much covers all the bases, and you can see he's riding a 22-match winning streak. That's right. U.S. Open is a six-win because he had a walkover in one of the matches. But uh, Federer has just done an absolute role, and he's playing with so much confidence right now. This man, Suzuki, is happy to be here. Came through the qualifying, won a first-round match. But uh, this is an exhibition we're going to be able to see of the talents again of Roger Federer, and it's worth watching. This is the night of Suzuki's life as far in terms of playing on a big stage. He's 28 years old. He comes from Sapporo, Japan. He's been around for a while. Interesting story. Brad Gilbert was saying he had to round up a practice partner for Agassi in this very stadium behind us here a few years ago. It was during qualifying, and Brad couldn't find anybody, and Andre said, get me some guy <laughs> to hit with. So he finds this Suzuki guy. They come in here. Suzuki drubs Agassi 6-3 with two breaks in a practice set. Agassi said he was shaken up for a few days. Suzuki goes out and qualifying the next day, plays one set, and loses. Pulls out. Andre wore him down. But well, he well, you know if we're talking about him in a practice set, uh, he's a long shot tonight, Chris. The longest of long shots. Roger Federer, who has his peers intimidated, perhaps, coming up. Roger Federer to serve begins this second round match against Takao Suzuki. Suzuki showing the aggressive game Patrick and he says he will bring. He says he will try to chip and charge as much as he can on better sir. Good that, luck. That, yeah, that's his style. And, uh, you know, he says, look, I'm going to go out there and, and, and do my stuff out there, which is to, is to just chip and charge. <laughs> Roger Federer with just uh, one of the great years in the history of the men's game last year, 74 and 6, three Grand Slam titles, 46 and 4 on hard, did not lose to a top 10 player all year. I'm Suzuki again. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh look at this! Great hands. Hand. Yeah, yeah. Huh? very quick up there. Better, Chris, in 2005 has yet to lose serve. He's won the tournament, as I mentioned, uh, in Qatar, first event of the year. And prep work for some of the majors, but Tony doesn't want to travel full time. Suzuki showing the aggression that he promised he would bring. Coach on the left there, uh, Claudio Pistolesi, the Italian. There you go. Just in case you were wondering, maybe I shouldn't watch this because uh, it could be a blowout. You just never know what this man's going to come up with. Suzuki, a nice play to get to that volley, and then Federer showing the speed that you believe is unmatched in look the game. At, look at this movement, and then on the run. <laughs> oh, come on. That's outrageous. Drops in. Turn just in. He susses out his opponents very well. So you see Roger taking this return early, shortening the backswing on the return. That went long and 
Suzuki after a struggle. Here yet, but he's got such a great rhythm. He doesn't overpower you with the serve. Hit return that big double for Suzuki. The world number one against the Yelka long shot from Japan on serve first set. We'll be back to Belgium. Perfect conditions of his time away. Anticipation from Suzuki, and again, almost oh, beautiful service game. Not a lot uh, similar about the comparison, except for the colors of the flags. They're both red, they're both red and white. <laughs> Other than that, there's not a whole lot of similarities. Suzuki with the pass. Won two matches in uh, Grand Slam. One here. And Comes again, trying to chip charge. Yeah, he's got it. I right, got a couple of break points. With the first break against Federer serve all year. Oh. And one streak is broken. Volley there coming in after the serve. Good return from Federer and watch the way Suzuki closes an athletic looking stab volley. <laughs> oh wow. Could not have been a better point from Suzuki. Great serve into the body, which Federer got down low, and this was a heck of a volley. Watch what Federer does with yeah. this thing right off the bounce. That is scary. That's sick, Patrick. I mean, I... He doesn't do it to the crowd. He doesn't have a lot of histrionics, but he brings those commands pretty often. Oh, hello! From way behind the baseline, Suzuki rips the winner up the line. Even he can't believe it. This crowd's enjoying guys game this has been very entertaining stuff so far Suzuki on the run he's basically Chris got no ground game at all Six foot seven. Oh, yeah, that's just flowing there. A little fist pump from Federer. The rhythm and timing on this uh, passing shot from Federer. He's anticipating it. Look at that beautiful balance stays. Watch how low he stays through the contact point. Shoulder stays low. Head is perfectly still. Textbook. Break point. And just in case you missed it, the previous point. This backhand right here. Watch the way he accelerates through this ball right there. That's when he's going crossboard. He puts a little extra racket speed. There's another one. <laughs> there we go. I mean, one of the reasons he's brought on Tony Roach to help him with his attacking game, his oh, serve volley hey, hey, hey. game. Tony Roach is a coach of legendary status, but how about stepping into a, a coaching job with a guy that you're taking over, won three majors. <laughs> oh! Just over his reach, but out. Roger Federer closes out the first set. Here are some of the peers that Federer will face in these coming weeks, talking about the dominance of the number one. <laughs> He just sees the court in a, in a different sort of way. You know, sometimes he'll come up with shots that you weren't even looking for. It's so complete. Pusitani is a little bit on uh, a different level. 
he moves great, and it almost looks like the game is in, uh, in slow motion for him sometimes. The thing is, when Federer takes it to that level, no one else can go there with him. The winner is just flowing now. Suzuki, <laughs> waving that one wide. Back of the court, right there. I don't know if Roger likes this. A little dink over his head. <laughs> He's used to being in that position himself. There's an ace. Point. One heck of a quarterfinal here. Oh. <laughs> nah, he's got Federer a little bit, a little frustrated. He didn't move to the right, can't pass him. Control on the run from Federer. Watch the racket preparation of Federer as he's running up to this ball. Look how early he's prepared with his racket. He's ready, and then at the last second, he can flick it. Watch the racket. He gets it ready so that when he gets there, he's got a couple of options, and that's just tremendous touch and control. <laughs> <laughs> Kisses the frame, ridiculous hands from Federer to get that one shot back in the baseline. And Suzuki showing his hands. Good approach, kept it pretty low. That was a good volley right there. Federer got enough racket on and a little help from the frame. <laughs> well, that's a nice little half volley right there. Times. I mean, it was Wimbledon last year. He had opportunity in his part of the draw. <laughs> Last year against Safin, that was under the lights. Roddick Elanowi, yeah. the classic. That's right. How about that at the line from Suzuki? This allows you this surface in these conditions when there isn't the wind and Suzuki just being back out on the tennis court. He got angry. He sort of internalized a lot of things on the court. Nice hold for Federer. People really love to watch him play. He's a very entertaining player to watch. Oh, that's <laughs> just speaking of entertaining. I'm used to that. Case number six. <laughs> Suzuki with the hole. He leads 4-3. Watch this return sits up for Federer. You know, the backhand, he's been getting a little more bite on it. That one sits up, and so Federer's got understanding what his opponent's doing well. Not taking anything for granted. 
Oh, that's a scary angle there. And that was a tough, tough shot. That time Suzuki got the approach on the backhand and he gets some great depth on it. Fetter, look at that angle. Off the back foot, moving backward. from Suzuki who has a break point combination here from Suzuki the chip approached Federer with a good pass but a full stretch outstanding and there's the response in the world number one now well, Suzuki is showing plenty of fight but that is beginning to bring out the best in Federer Fights off the break point. Often with some of the majors. Is that body serve again? That's worked well. You're better off going for the ace. Ah, it's beautifully done. That's that Federer's great wrists can produce. Incredible racket speed and control off that lob. Again, moving backwards. And look how we just brushes up and across his body with that lob. Oh. So much spin on that ball. Oh, he's got it. Around the net, it's in! <laughs> Unbelievable! Oh, he loved that oh, one. Suzuki just looks to his box. What can you say? <laughs> as Federer ends up on Suzuki's side of the net to walk back to his chair. That got about a foot off the ground. <laughs> More of the magic of the world number one who will now serve for a two-set lead. He loves to come up with those. The trick shots. There's the second set. Federer has been pushed by the unorthodox Suzuki, but he stands a set away from the third round. you have to be I mean Federer after that return I mean most players would be scrambling retreating right there but Federer comes in and then comes up with that shot it was on his shoelaces and then he's in control of the point but that pickup off that backhand was remarkable it's not just about the final score it's about it's about the, the artistry and the fun and well, the artistry it's, it's sure. like a canvas out there sure. for him I mean that's I mean, obviously, he's, he's thinking about winning number one. At least. Didn't predict that, huh? No. Uh. It's an incredible angle. As he picks that one up off his shoelaces, and then this one, it's such. Nice. Oh. Better we'll get there. Yeah. <laughs> Entertaining stuff. We went to the chair empire and uh, requested that the trainer come out the next change of ends. Evidently something's wrong with his left foot. One of the three break points he's had in this match. Oh. This is 
Suzuki, Pam talked about. Yeah, it looks like he's having trouble pushing off of that, uh, like his right ankle coming from the forehand corner. <laughs> very, very, very frustrated with himself. A lot of quick moves, you know, moving up into the net. And... Bumpered pretty quickly to this one right there, Suzuki. Federer. Sets now between them, very few tough competitive sets among them. <laughs> Leighton Hewitt had a winning record against him head to head, but Federer has now won six in a row. Actually, has a career eight to one edge on Roddick, not counting an exhibition this past weekend here. His game is just locked in. Anticipation here, using that slice forehand again, kept it low. It was all over that volley. And point after point, Federer. Federer makes you come up with so many different moves because he can hold the ball long, he can make you, you know, he can hit it short, he can hit it deep, he can go right at you. Surface, which plays right into Agassiz's strengths. <laughs> Suzuki holds. Federer has been unable to come up with an early break now in each of these three sets. Tweaked a knee and had to retire in that match. You can just feel it. Max that return pretty deep serve. He's sort of Agassi like on this on the forehand return, you know, the That's tidy. That's tidied right up. Couldn't take him long. <laughs> He's got a break point. Right, watch how he shortens it up. Right here, just very short and uses the pace of the serve, but follows through. from Suzuki who kisses his frame which was responsible for that winner again for his attitude and his play and his spirit in this one every serve now Suzuki again fights off break point it's been a struggle to hold but we're still on serve in the third set <laughs> ridiculous you know, after a 25 shot rally I and mean, you're just you know, killing yourself uh oh Better. stumbling but Suzuki sprains on this surface and knee problems He's had three chances in the set to break. This guy's been pesky. That's called good. Suzuki cannot believe it. See what shot spot says. Nope. It was wide. Feel any better? Oh. 
15. Another great return. Oh, let that one go and it cut the line. This pump from Feder. He wants to finish this off. Nice stab there. Saves one break point. Right there, gets a little knife on that one and a great stab volley. Suzuki. Oh, <laughs> oh, you gotta love the effort. Some gymnastics. Even Tony, even Tony. <laughs> we got a smile on Orochi over there. <laughs> Look at this stuff. Federer got some good mutard on that uh, backhand overhead. That's mustard oh, in no, French, no, Chris. No, no. Yeah. Okay, so you're Why not finish it with a ridiculous winner? I'll tell you, they loved it here. It Standing ovation. Really good stuff. Everyone in Rod Laver Arena on their feet for this man. It was another straight setter, Patrick, but it wasn't just another performance. I think a lot of them on, on their feet for Suzuki as well, Chris, because you're right. I mean, you know when you walk, come to watch Federer, you're going to see the genius of this man. He's now won his last 16 Grand Slam matches, but I uh, was very impressed with uh, Suzuki and what he brought to the table. And, you know, all that chipping and charging and coming in, it really allowed Federer to come up with some great stuff. Look at this. This is a great moment. Bowing to all four sides of the stadium. Very nice. He didn't get the victory, but he did seize the moment. This journeyman, 28-year-old, really played to this crowd, played his game, did what he could, just got beaten by a much better player. But a night to remember in the knife of Takeo Suzuki. Well, he said, coming into this match, he said, I, I want to show Federer that I'm there. And uh, he definitely did that. More and, bows. And look at this. That's great. Really nice moment. And there's his box there. And they're going to... Enjoy the memory of this occasion. As for this man, wants well, another step for Roger Federer as he uh, looks to defend here. Through all of the top contenders for this title, advancing through without dropping a set, but they were three very entertaining sets, ending with a cross grip winner and a little drop to his knees after a second round win. Oh, look at <laughs> Tony. Tony, Tony sure. This is great. Oh, He's seen a lot of tennis, but he's oh, still entertained yeah. by this guy, his new client, huh? He is something to watch. Roger Federer flashes the brilliant talent and moves forward to the third round. Perfect conditions of his time away. Anticipation from Suzuki, and again, almost oh, beautiful service game. Not a lot uh, similar about the comparison, except for the colors of the flags. They're both red, they're both red and white. <laughs> Other than that, there's not a whole lot of similarities. Suzuki with the pass. Won two matches in uh, Grand Slam. One here. In Comes again, trying to chip charge. Yeah, he's got it. I got a couple of break points. With the first break against Federer serve all year. And one streak is broken. Coming in after the serve, good return from Federer, and watch the way Suzuki closes an athletic-looking stab volley. <laughs> oh, wow. Could not have been a better point from Suzuki. Great serve into the body, which Federer got down low, and this was a heck of a volley. 
Watch what Federer does with yeah. this thing right off the bounce. That is scary. That's sick, Patrick. I mean, I... He doesn't do it to the crowd. He doesn't have a lot of histrionics, but he brings those commands pretty often. Oh, hello! Uh -huh. Very quick up there. Federer, Chris, in 2005, has yet to lose serve. He's won the tournament, as I mentioned, uh, in Qatar, first event of the year. And he's prep work for some of the majors, but Tony doesn't want to travel full time. Suzuki, showing the aggression that he promised he would bring. Coach on the left there, uh, Claudio Pistolesi, the Italian. There you go. Just in case you were wondering, maybe I shouldn't watch this because uh, it could be a blowout. You just never know what this man's going to come up with. Suzuki, a nice play to get to that volley, and then Federer showing the speed that you believe is unmatched. In look, the game. At, look at this movement, and then on the run. Being, oh, come on. That's outrageous. Drops that in. Turn just in. He susses out his opponents very well. So you see Roger taking this return early, shortening the backswing on the return. That went long, and Suzuki after a struggle. Here yet, but he's got such a great rhythm. He doesn't overpower you with the serve. Hit return that big trouble for Suzuki. The world number one against the Yelka long shot from Japan on serve for set. We'll be back to Belgium. Australia, Wild Labor Arena, one of the true jewels in the tennis world, all lit up and all filled up because the world number one defending champion Roger Federer is on court against Takao Suzuki of Japan on night three of the first Grand Slam of 2005. Welcome inside Wild Labor Arena, Chris Fowler and Patrick McEnroe. Let's face it, these matches involving Roger Federer, especially in the early rounds of any tournament, really are less competitions than they are <laughs> confirmations of his awesome talent, demonstrations of his perhaps historic skill. I mean, the greats all stop and watch when Roger Federer is on court. That's why this place is filled up, even though Suzuki is the longest of long shots He here. sure is, and you're right. And I don't think it's too early to start talking about Roger Federer's place in tennis history, because this guy has taken the game of men's tennis really to a whole nother level. Of course, he won Wimbledon in 2003. Last year, he comes to Australia here, taking on Safin in the final, you know, without a coach. So there are a few questions about that coming in, but Federer was pretty emphatic with the answers. He just dismantled Murat Safin in the final. Let's show a little bit of net play here. I mean, the guy does it all. Beautiful dropper right there, and he blows through. Uh, Mr. Sapp. And then coming here this year, Chris, he's already won a tournament in the Middle East and leading into this Australian, taking on Centauro, and he's just looking to be in just wonderful tournament. Yeah, blasted Roddick as well in an exhibition event here before this guy started at Centauro, the tricky Frenchman, but you know, better never gave him a chance after the match. He said, you know, to ask, how's your game? He said, well, I served well, uh, turned well, volleyed pretty well, and it was very good from the back court. So that pretty much covers all the bases, and you can see he's riding a 22-match winning streak. That's right. U.S. Open is a six-win. From way behind the baseline, Suzuki rips the winner up the line. Even he can't believe it. This crowd's enjoying this guy's game. This has been very entertaining stuff so far. Suzuki on the run. Basically, Chris got no ground game at all. Six foot seven. Oh, yes. yeah. That's just flowing there. A little fist pump from Federer. The rhythm and timing on this uh, passing shot from Federer. He's anticipating it. Look at that beautiful balance stays. Watch how low he stays through the contact point. 
Shoulder stays low. Head is perfectly still. Textbook. Break point. And just in case you missed it, the previous point. This backhand right here. Watch the way he accelerates through this ball right there. That's when he's going crossboard. He puts a little extra racket speed. There's another one. <laughs> reasons he's brought on Tony Roach to help him with his attacking game, his serve volley game. Tony Roach is a coach of legendary status, but how about stepping into a coaching job with a guy that you're taking over, won three majors. <laughs> Just over his reach, but out. Roger Federer closes out the first set. Here's some of the. He's got a walkover in one of the matches, but uh, Federer has just done an absolute role, and he's playing with so much confidence right now. This man, Suzuki, is happy to be here. He came through the qualifying, won a first round match, but uh, this is an exhibition we're going to be able to see of the talents again of Roger Federer, and it's worth watching. This is the night of Suzuki's life as far in terms of playing on a big stage. He's 28 years old. He comes from Sapporo, Japan. He's been around for a while. Interesting story, Brad Gilbert was saying he had to round up a practice partner for Agassi in this very stadium behind us here a few years ago. It was during qualifying, and Brad couldn't find anybody, and Andre said, get me some guy to hit with. <laughs> so he finds this Suzuki guy. They come in here, Suzuki drugs Agassi 6-3 with two breaks in a practice <laughs> set. Agassi said he was shaken up for a few days. Suzuki goes out in qualifying the next day, plays one set. And loses, pulls out. Andre wore him down. But well, he well, you know if we're talking about him in a practice set, uh, he's a long shot tonight, Chris. The longest of long shots. Roger Feder, who has his peers intimidated, perhaps, coming up. Roger Feder to serve begin this second round match against Takao Suzuki. Suzuki showing the aggressive game, Patrick, and he says he will bring. He says he will try to chip and charge as much as he can on better serve. Good that, luck. That, yeah, that's his style. And, uh, you know, he says, look, I'm going to go out there and, and, and do my stuff out there, which is to, is to chip and charge. <laughs> Roger Federer with just uh, one of the great years in the history of the men's game last year, 74 and 6, three Grand Slam titles, 46 and 4 on hard. Did not lose to a top 10 player all year. I'm Suzuki again. Oh, <laughs> oh look at this. Great hand.